Now, for those of you that have watched me for a long period of time, you know I'm not exactly a raging New Japan or Japanese wrestling mark. That could never be ascribed to me. I might be a raging Ishii fanboy. Yes, that is true. It'll always be true. But in general, I fully acknowledge and accept that the New Japan product is not for me. I am not for the New Japan product. And they do not give me nearly enough to be able to tell myself that, hey, I can look past some of this other stuff because they do this or they do that. Because they really do none of that. Let's just be clear here, right? At least I can point to a WWE and AEW and say, eh, they do a lot of stupid shit too, but at least they give me A or B or C. New Japan has very few of those redeeming qualities for my taste as a wrestling fan. Um, that said, I know that Kazuchika Okada is a big deal in terms of modern wrestling, in terms of Japanese wrestling, in terms of hardcore wrestling fans. And to me, you know, when you talk about Japanese wrestling, he is the gold standard now. He is the measuring stick. He is that dude. And he's always been presented as that dude. And he kind of conducts and carries himself as that dude. And as much as at times I hate the way he works, I hate his match style, I don't like it. The reality is, is he does feel like a star relative to others. He certainly does. He still feels like a big deal. He still feels like somebody that it's important to watch him. Even if he's going to go out there and do his 45 minutes of no-selling bullshit. So, you know, I just really haven't had much opportunity to watch a ton of him over the years because he's been with New Japan. But it sounds like now... Now, unless this is some weird work that really doesn't have a payoff, that Okada's contract with a, with New Japan is going to come to an end at the end of January, and he's going to end up somewhere else. Which begs the question is, where is he going to go? Where should he go? Where's the best fit for him? Is it WWE or AEW? And it's a good situation for an Okada to be in because the marketplace has multiple other suitors. He, he, it's not just a New Japan thing. Or it's not just a New Japan or a WWE or a New Japan or an AEW. It's kind of weird that you're kind of calling the shot of I'm just not coming back to New Japan, so you're taking a potential suitor and some of your leverage away feels kind of odd to me. But it's probably not the biggest of deals because WWE and AEW, you would have to imagine, are both going to be very interested in his services for different reasons. I'd be stunned if both companies weren't. We know for a fact AEW is going to be jumping over themselves, falling over themselves to try and get Okada to come in. But you have to imagine Triple H is going to want to do business with Okada too. So this, to me, is it such a foregone conclusion? It could be he goes to AEW. It could be that he goes to WWE. Um, where should he go? Like, where's the better fit? What makes the most sense? I think that kind of depends, right? Because if you talk about WWE, here's the reality. They can offer him the biggest global platform to perform on. They can offer him WrestleMania. They can offer him the most in terms of distribution platform, distribution in terms of Raw, SmackDown, the premium live events on Peacock. The WWE social media and internet presence, which is quite expansive. AEW can't measure up. They just can't. Don't even pretend like they can. They just can't. 
And when you think about WWE, and especially for somebody like Okada, if for some reason he decides that he wants to like do other things and he's trying to build a bigger star for himself outside of professional wrestling, then WWE is the spot. WWE can still offer him the ability to make a shit ton of money. If they truly wanted to, they could they would pay every bit as AEW, relatively speaking. Their merchandise distribution, obviously, is much better run than AEW's is. Um, and you know, like, not to piss off AEW fans, but again, this is just the freaking reality. Let's be honest about it. Like, WWE is the top brand. And if Okada truly wants to show that he's the best, if he wants to show that he's one of the big dogs in wrestling, then he needs to go to the biggest pool in the biggest yard. That's not Tony Khan's company. That's WWE. And when you think about all the people that he could wrestle, like it is kind of exciting when I think about it in terms of Okada, is no matter which company he goes to, <clears throat> There are lots of interesting, compelling matchups you can have. Although I would argue right now that the more interesting and compelling, ma compelling matchups would be WWE. He could face off against CM Punk. He could face off against Cody Rhodes. He could face off against Roman Reigns at some point. He could face off against Seth Rollins. He could face off against a bunch of people that he's either never worked with or hasn't worked with in a really, really long time. Whereas AEW, you've seen him there a little bit. You've seen him work with some of that talent. So from a distribution standpoint, from a presence and exposure standpoint, from a wanting to measure yourself against the best, wanting to be the big fish in the big pond, the most new options and different challenging things for him to do, that's WWE. And like I said, let's still be able to pay him a shit ton of money. Now, meanwhile, you look at AEW, and there are some advantages there. I could certainly see a path where Tony Khan would be willing to pay more money up front, guaranteed, than WWE would for Okada services. Which, you know, this is going to hurt, right? I could also see where he's going to have more creative control, more creative freedom than he would within the structure of WWE. Now, maybe he would like the structure of WWE better, and that might be better suited for him on the one hand. But on the other hand, he'd have more say, more control over his character potentially, more freedom to do more things. He knows Tony Khan is going to respect the hell out of him and at least do his Tony khan to treat him well. You would also look and you would say, you know, AEW's got a lighter schedule. They don't do as many house shows. Their schedule's not nearly as strenuous as WWE's. That's a major advantage, right? And while AEW doesn't have massive distribution like the WWE does in terms of the internet, in terms of global platforms, television platforms, etc., they're not a slouch. They've got multiple prime time weekly cable television shows. They've got an internet brand. They've got an internet presence. So it's not like they've got a nothing. He still would have the opportunity to work some big shows as AEW does a few pay-per-views a year. And they do all will do all in again in London in August, which certainly is, I would assume, going to draw 70 plus thousand people. You know, and perhaps when you look at Okada... There's also the ability if he says, hey, I want to be able to do some big shows in Japan, work at the Tokyo Dome, etc. That's much more likely to happen with an AEW than it is a WWE. It might be appealing. It's hard to know what his true motivations are other than, you know, it is the right time for Okada to make this jump. I think he's like 36 now, something like that. It, it, this is a perfect time for him to make the jump. There's really not much more he could do in New Japan. The shine has kind of come off of New Japan the past couple of years. Like, you could even tell, like, Meltzer doesn't even talk about it the same like he did a few years ago. And maybe that's the AEW effect, right? There's something stateside to give more of a shit about, so we give less of a shit about New Japan. But the reality is, is the, the amount of attention New Japan gets is not nearly the same it was a few years ago.
And like I said, some of it is probably AEW factor. Some of it is just a general downturn in the New Japan product and interest in the New Japan product. So he's picking the right time to go. You know, to me, if I'm Okada, I'm trying to find the place that's going to give me the best combination of money, schedule, opportunity, exposure. And a lot of that could come down to your perspective on whether you think that is WWE or AEW. Like, personally, WWE has a big advantage because their television shows are just flat out watched by more people. They have WrestleMania. So from a branding standpoint, a television footprint standpoint, WWE has a big advantage. And I could see him leaning that direction. But in reality, I think he's done enough business with AEW he knows that he'll get paid really well, have a lighter schedule, might be able to do more things in Japan if he still so desires. I, I find it really hard to believe that he won't end in AEW. Like for WWE, Okada would be a new toy, a nice toy, but just another toy. Whereas AEW, Okada would mean everything to them in some respects, right? Like Tony Khan would be so proud of himself and so happy for himself by making this happen that for the first couple of months, he's going to treat Okada like God before he eventually screws it up. So I'm really 50-50 on this one. I lean right now, though. I think I lean, and it's probably untrue to say 50-50. I think I'm more 60-40 right now that the place he probably ends up, the place he should end up, the place he wants to end up is going to be AEW. 